are now on to Secret 3 in the series of Secret 3 and uh, this time we're doing a gypsy girl here. Well you've already seen the two photographs, I'll show you them again here quickly. You see this one is without the figure in down here and this one has this figure in, this gypsy girl, which I took in the south of France earlier but I felt it needed something in this area and rather than just putting another uh, waiter or something in to give it a bit more interest I thought I'd put this rather different uh, young lady walking through here um, amongst these people having their dinners and talking about their various things and their secrets and, and having a lovely evening meal um, and I rather like the light, it's a quite a complicated design it was quite difficult to draw out with all of these arches and so on and we'll see how it comes out now with the painting shall we I'm going to hit it again with the brushwork first and uh, come in on this with um, facets of colour first of all just to block in and get rid of the white canvas then I'm going to work over it with the uh, rollers afterwards again I'm going to start this painting with a little uh, magenta and a very light purple and uh, where I've got the colour on my brush wherever I see it I'm going to put it on so we'll do that first but wherever it might be I'll have to change the colour slightly and so I come back with the sponge roller afterwards I'm going to do this one in sections uh, using the brush because I want to get rid of this white canvas the only thing with the rollers is they tend to leave a bit of the white canvas showing which is nice for texture later but not right now you can see I'm mixing blue with them with the uh, magenta to get this purple and a bit of yellow ochre now so we'll stop there and I'll just carry on painting these colours in a bit and then as soon as I change colour I'll let you know so quite rapidly just blocking in colours really as quickly as I can just to get uh, a bit of a white canvas so then I can see wood for trees if you like but like the subtle changes in colours even if it goes a bit greener so we're going to do some of this with the sponge later but I just want to get these colours established for the moment bring colours over this later to get uh, basic coloration and really look to these colours even on the photograph you want to push push them they're nice and pure and clean lots more in blue now and we're using the Leo here and uh, I'm going to go to with that I'm going to work a lot more colour into these yet interesting colours used together I'll come over these again at any time, I'm just loosely painting in the colours at the moment just to lose these white canvas and see where things are. So we're just working up these colours one into another because it isn't just one colour, it's one colour with another or over another or next to another that makes things like this work. Pushing the brush into the canvas to make sure the texture is filled. And wherever you see a colour, a bit on your brush, we'll use it. I'll spill the brush out to give the feeling of this palm tree. Let's begin to get the palm tree in. That would be so bad when I get it. It's hard to tell sometimes with these colours. You think they're too dark, but we actually put a colour against them, they can change. It's like the light against dark, but against smooth. Oh, it's cool.
that's enough for today. It's got the basics painted in again. So we'll let that dry off until tomorrow. I'm working it with rollers and presses tomorrow. Well now, we've got the basic under painting done. To start working up the colours, more strong colours and some of the stronger drawing on top I think. So we go with that then. Right, I guess refresh those colours a bit. Not too painting to be repapered in the Brushes are ready. What I'm actually going to need this time is a larger filbert and my sponge roller. So off we go again. So what do we need to start with? We've got these lighter colours to put in yet. We've got quite a lot of detail to do. I think I want to work on these areas here. Um, get the texture going up on the, uh, the path and so on. So let's start working on these um, lighter purples. Let's start off with a little bit of... Uh, Very, very light violet tables a bit. It's also coming down the chairs. I'm going to start indicating the chairs on this as well. Nice colour. And, uh, still got a lot of white canvas showing it that I want to remove. In fact, that colour's coming into quite a bit of this. It's coming across here as well. And it's out of here again where we've actually started. A little bit darker down there in a moment, I think. And this colour's coming into her heel as well. You know, some of you might have thought the painting was almost done before. You see now, there's been quite a bit more to it. Let's see if I get on with it. Just touching it with the roller. You see how fine we can go in with a roller. The rollers don't get uneven and put the colour on. It can be effective, but you don't want that well. Right, one colour bring out another. There's effective luminosity going on around this and atmosphere around this because pull the picture together, one colour comes into another. That's why people start amateurs do that with trees. And and landscapes they're painting brown trees, blue sky, they forget that one colour comes into another, that the, that the blue comes into the trees and the, the land and the... To go back to my magentas again. More magenta into it. She wants to become a part of the picture so she's going to be Merging into the foreground, not sticking out as it's stuck on. A bit lighter blue, and a touch of white to that. Do it. I'll take that a bit drier and just blend these over there a bit with this. It just merges in more. Finer work has to be done around the place. Try a very light turquoise now. I mean, very light, so I'm going to put some lemon yellow into it. I 
which I've made then. It's a mixture of the green blue we just had and uh, some light orange. Let's get back to our darks and uh, a bit more warm yet, yeah, maybe. I uh, haven't got anything like strange warm brown grey I've got going on in places. And I haven't yet made that colour, so we'll see if we've got it here now. Yes, that's better, that's not bad. See colours of everywhere else, don't we? Let's really get that colour going. It's a beautiful colour, it's one of the one I loved as well. So I'm going to understand why I do too then. to work a little bit of black into it before I go back to my brushwork. You see how the black can bring out the foreground so much more. I'm going to have to build up a lot more now because of that, but it won't matter, it'll keep it strength, vibrancy. One dimension. Well, it's from Crimson now. Northern well, Lisbon Crimson, lovely strong colour. Strengthen up some of these darks against the blacks. I don't want the black to be too stark, so I need some other stronger colours to balance them out a bit more. And these, I see this one Crimson will do that, I hope. Strange colours that work sometimes, and sometimes don't. Let's hope they do. It's, all, it's still experimental to me. Each painting I do is a little different. Thank heavens, or I get really bored. And uh, it takes working out. It's not just pre-planned, and it's not easy for me. I'm, I'm struggling here at times as well, just as you will. Really does help these blues back here. Get the same sort of greens and things going on back up in there. It was too much of it. A warmer green. So we'll add some yellow liquid to it. See what that does. Now I think I want to come in with the brushes again, so I'll just clean up my palette and unroll it. Right, now it's time to continue with the brush then. I'm going to start with my big one first of all, I tend to do. And uh, I'm just working some of these highlights and colours. And tidy everything up and pull it together a bit, I think, now that's the idea. Let's look at these very light oranges next. Some of the lovely bright colours that are coming in from the lights, eh? Which we haven't quite picked out yet, so let's have a look at some of these here, for instance. Between the chair legs, we can really pick out these highlights and make the thing come alive.
go down to the finer brushes now. See how useful these highlights are now, can't you? And let's go back to the lightest of our colours to hopefully finish off this painting. So I'm going to use white and a little touch of lemon yellow now again. Let's try and bring out some of these beautiful highlights here. thicker because the white tends to go thin and bleaches out so it disappears on me so I'm going to put that a little bit thicker into here. Same down here. Like I said, I want it to still be a part of it, I want it to start standing out too much. Let's continue with the rest now and highlights. Let's start painting around cups and mugs and glasses and picking out all these lovely little bits of light that really make a painting like this.
Straighten up some of those forms a little bit. I'm not quite happy with that. Bring out the pinks just a little bit more. I think the hues are almost there. I think that's uh, about as far as I want to go with that one. Oh, we'll give it. Now where are we going to sign it? Actually it might be better signed on the left this time, but let's have a look and see. Um, don't want to see if you get in the way. As things are coming off bottom right and left, it could happen. But not an easy one to sign this. Probably sign it just here. And what colour to sign it in is the next problem. That doesn't uh, destroy it. Shall I do it in, um, in red? Let's try that and see. Oh, please, do it in red, that's a trouble. Put it up here. Yeah, that ought to be alright up there. Signature must be a part of the painting, mustn't forget that. Right, I'll take a last look at that, fully photograph it and move on to the next one. And there we are, more cool colours in this painting than the previous ones. That figure in the foreground makes a very unusual composition, I think. Let's have a closer look at it. See how it gives the impressionist strokes again. Another woman's painted, just with blocks of colour. We don't have to paint every single hair in.